Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I just want to do some embellishments with these fabrics that I can um, put on my journal cards or down the side of a page or simple things like that. And it's totally inspired by Susan Taylor Brown. And of course, um, Jessica Rapp has done a lot of these sorts of things. She's hand sewn hers. I thought I might just... Um, I stitch them very quickly on my sewing machine and I've also got all of my scraps of paper about I do have some still have some Tracy Fox lying around but what I might keep of hers are her mm. fabric bits um, and we'll see how we go so I'm just going to tidy up here just throw those sorts of things in that I can use not that you can see what I'm talking about but um, yeah, I'm just getting myself organised so that way um, we can plot along. Now, what I'll try and do, so I don't drive people bananas with my sewing machine, is, sorry, just picking up some things off the floor, um, is I will um, sort of clip them and then um, sew them towards the end and maybe not all. I've also got these really cool things. I don't know what to do with these. Um, Wendy sent me these. They're wonderful. But I don't think I want to cluster on top of them because then you won't be able to see what's there. But anyway, we've got all the papers over here. And so I thought I'd just do a little short video mucking around with these things. So, for example, I've got this, this, this. Let's move it over there so out of my way. And that's really cool. I don't want anything too bulky let me just see if I'm recording because I was having issues again with the iPad but it might have been me it's probably all my fault um, so let me just see here I'll grab a few bits and pieces because I want to mix it in with the paper as well oh, isn't that nice okay so let's see what we've got I've always got this sort of thing well that's a big piece so we'll cut that now I could use a little bit of um, glue even to hold them sort of in place. I might need a little piece of paper. A lot of tearing goes on, doesn't it? Might be too small. Well, that's pretty, isn't it? Because I don't want anything... Um, oh, I love that. There you go. There's one, an instant one. So maybe I'll just clip that all together. And that just get a nice little zigzag down the centre. And I've got something that I can attach to my journals. There we go. There's one probably need a little basket to put them into um, now let me see what else I can do I've got all this lovely antique hemp this is always nice and I've got these lovely fabrics that of course I don't iron anything do I I love tearing it just to have some things ready for any form of decorating so I can put that there oh yeah I love that love that love that love that uh, let me see I've got some this was white rickrack that I just um, that I put in the coffee it didn't go very dark but it is fine I'll just clip that one and then when I've got oh, what about if I add a little bit of coffee dyed paper I need to put that in there just a second There, I think, just to give a little bit more depth to it. So, of course, you can hand stitch these. Maybe we'll hand stitch some, although I don't have my hand stitching equipment. I could get up and get it. Um, oh, yay, I'm recording. Woohoo! Woohoo! Bit of a crazy person, don't worry. I've got these beautiful things. I don't know if I. I these are not precious. This is the thing, but I am being very precious about them. That's my th issue. Now, someone sent me this. I might put that there. I've got to be careful not to become too monotone as well because I tend to keep picking up the same things all the time. But I would like to use up some of these bits and pieces that I've got flying around. And I do have somewhere in there. I'm a little bit itchy. I got a little bit sunburnt. Just a little bit. 
Um, not too bad. This is a good colour. This is the, a page from an antique book that I scanned. Oh, I haven't done that digi yet, have I? I must do that. Oh, now I didn't go on again. I like that. I didn't go on again to tell you about um, Stay My Hubby. I said I, when I got had the you know video issues the other day, um, what I was telling you about was that my um, sweet husband has been wanting to because he's very good at the computer. He you know he's an architect, so he uses 3D Studio Max, Revit, um, AutoCAD. Um, what's the other one? Um, you know, Photoshop. He's an absolute whiz. So um, he's like, why don't we design some papers? Do you want to design some papers? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm, I can't do that. And um, so anyway, um, I went on, you know, lo the lovely Susan Taylor Brown did that wonderful series on on public domain images and websites to go to and how to navigate them. It's a really great series. I'll link her channel if I remember because, um, you know, memory like a sieve. But just ask me if I forget. And um, and so so anyway, I did save a whole lot of things from there on their open access website. So um, he started playing around with it. And, um, and then I sort of sat down and got involved. Oh, look at that. I sat down and got involved with it, and um, he's come up. Well, we both have because really he was, he was the sort of um, the one doing the the quick um, work, and then I was saying, put this there, and can we do this, and can we do that, and then he pulled out all these other elements that you he, that you can use. Um, well, actually, you can use them, but you have to give them credit, or otherwise, you can. From what I understood, you can purchase them and then um, you know, like you can purchase an amount of images and then you can use them without having to worry about you know having things written all over your papers giving credit all over the place so um, anyway he came up with some lovely pages well we did I why do I say it, just, it wasn't just Steffi it was like really me saying do this and do that but um, he did one by himself today which I thought was really cool so um, so that's exciting, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might just use them a little bit and, and then just see what happens because um, I'm not that confident um, about whether or not people will like them. However, we shall see. Uh, now let me see here. What would, I, put this, I think this would be very nice under there for this. But the problem with this is you, you, you cover up the nice bits if you use that. What else do I have? Now, that side I don't like, but that side I do like. Um, oh, this is, I love this. I hoard this. I absolutely hoard it. I'm going to rip one off. But I guess I'm going to add it to that one because it'll disappear. I've got this. This, was, this is not old. This was a curtain. I'll just cut a piece off and show you. Like it was curtain material, I bought it. Um, I actually bought it in the Dolomites many moons ago when I didn't have many fabrics. But it could come in, yes, that's it. It could come in handy, as you see. Okay. But see how, I mean, we all know that, we all know these. I mean, Gail does them. I mean, each person does them similar but different, if you know what I mean. So it's not like I'm showing you anything you don't know. It's just... I really need to to bust the scraps, shall we say. They need some busting because there's just too many. And I really don't want to cover that up. Now, what am I going to do about that? Maybe put it on top of something. Mm. Well, this is nice paper. Am I recording? I am. <laughs> It's a miracle, isn't it? It's a miracle in itself, this lovely textured paper. I'll just tear that piece off. I think I'll put this on the paper. Maybe I'll put it on that way. So I could put something across. There we go. You see, you figure it out eventually what you're going to do. Put a bit of glue. I love a bit of glue. 
There we go, that's just a simple one. over there so I haven't used any glue I've got this lovely thing here why don't I put that somewhere I love that so that will kind of disappear what can I put it on got some hemp what about a piece of hemp live in the land of the hemp put that there so basically you just really you just layer things on top of each other and just see what you like you could go a bit beige there. Mm, I don't mind that. It's kind of covering up the hemp a lot. Put that over there. No, I loved it more before. Maybe I can tear this one down a little bit. So these are Makey stamps and they are fine to use as far as I know, as I've heard. So I'll just comment on that, that it, they are fine to use. Now. No. Not convinced. Oh yes, those are good colours. Mm. No. What else do I have? This. That's good. I should tear it. I'll just put those down and tear it. Yeah, I like that. That's great. So I guess I could do a bit of gluing with that one because um, you need to, like some of these are fine, you just zigzag down the center and, and it, it will hold them, but this one's quite broad, so I think I would like to get a little bit of glue under that one. And then I will do stitching on it, but just to make sure it doesn't all catch on things. Very nice, I like that. Okay, cool. I don't think I need anything else on there. Like that, okay. So let's put that one up. I might put the finished ones up on the sewing machine. Just the more finished, you know what I mean, like... So that's already five, six, seven in a matter of minutes. Nice little project to take away with, with those, um, with those, oh gosh, I hope I was on screen. I don't think I was on screen because I zoomed in. Okay, I've got to be careful. Okay, Rachel, get on screen. Over here on screen. Get rid of your mess. I'm scrap busting, scrap busting, scrap busting. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Oops. Oh, God, I, do you know what I did? I nearly cut the cord. God, I, I hope it's still working. I nearly cut the cord. Very clever chook I am. Very clever chook. I quite like this side where there's a bit of white showing. That's a bit of fun. That one there, similar to the other one. A little bit of this, a bit of this, and that is it. Great, so I'll do the same thing there. I think I'll glue them. So let's get the glue on there. I know the brown's nice as well. Put that there. Then this one. And glue on there. I hope I'm on screen. The 
this looks like a hint that I had done a little bit of very light dyeing on. But dyeing, like, you know, not, um, not colour fast, if you know what I mean. Like, if you wash it, it would come out, but you're not going to wash it. It's paper wet. I've got some more of this. I love this. What am I going to do when that finishes? I've got this lovely, um, now this was a very boring old inexpensive linen that come. It's, a, it's actually a cotton linen. It's very loose weave. Um, nothing precious. Uh, but I like it. It's textural. That's why I like it. And um, I don't know if I can get that in there. Oh, yes, look at that. Um, it's very textural and lovely. And um, so it's nice to use in your projects. So if I put that there, then what will I do? I had some Tracy Fox things somewhere. Where did I put them? Oh, they're right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. Some things just never change, do they? They never... Oh. These are nice printed into the fabric. I thought I had a better pair of scissors than these. Where have they gone? Okay, come on. Okay. Well, I do like that, but what I need to do is put something behind it uh, to separate it from there. Otherwise, I won't be able to see it. Uh, now, let me see. What would I like to put there? Grab a piece of this. I might keep, do I need to keep those? I might keep those. How about a piece of this? doesn't really matter which way it goes. I'm thinking actually what would be nice is a bit of this. Okay, let me see. Got a message from someone. There. Oh yeah, I really like that. And that there. Oh, that's it, I think. Down there a bit further. Yes. So, I think I'm going to need to put a little bit of glue on this one too. Just to hold it in place. Put that there. Put the glue on here. So I had made something similar to these before. I think, I think my boys are back. I'm doing my video now. Um, yes, I think it's them. I'm doing my video now because I might not... I'm videoing! Because I might not be able to get it done tomorrow. Ciao! How was the beach? Bella? Okay, that's that. See? Yeah? Is it? Can you come and see if it's recording, please? Because I had a trouble before. Is it going? Or is it blurry? It's going. It's going. Thank you. Okay, I'm getting hot now. And what about this piece? I might use this piece here. This bloody little tear. Mm, which side do we like? That side. That side's going to be covered. Maybe I'll do it that way. So, yes, as I was saying, I'm doing my video today. My second video. Just in case tomorrow I can't do anything. that hmm, maybe just something simple like that okay I'm gonna attach those first did um, Fausto come down Steph did Fausto come down to the beach
Ah, oh, okay, he's probably sleeping. Does he, does he have to play music tonight? Yeah. Okay. Let's put that down there like that, yes. Put that there and just bunch it up and then stitch down the middle. might get be, be given an adult beverage soon it's about that time okay and then we've got this maybe I could put that one there I love that just tear that off I like it so much I don't even need to worry I don't even care about the straight edge screen just really need to be careful I'm so, I do apologize if I've been going off screen I really do um, I do I do love these little things that I printed of traces on the fabric so we can use a few of these just go quiet while I concentrate cutting Right, so let me see. Oh, that's going to be nice, but it needs something behind it. What does it need? It could have a bit of that. No, it needs something more um, sort of lacy or fluffy. Lacy or fluffy. You just sent me off of this. Oh, now this. Oh, what about that? Oh, I like that. Put that there a little bit um, more complicated. Put that there. They are, there's going to be stitching on these, so it still needs something behind it. We might get a bit of this beautiful antique knitting. And I don't even care if it's straight. Yep. Okay. Glue that down. I know I've covered up my beautiful background that I loved, but anyway, too bad. There'll be more where that came from. Okay, cool. So that's that one. We'll do some stitching soon. And they are super fast. I must remember to do a few every day. The only thing is, they're small, and so I'm not using up very much of my scraps, am I? these little bites of things I wanted to use up these fabrics well what about if we also did it the Susan um, Taylor Brown way where she just had I think she just stitched across the top of them like that and then I don't know maybe like a piece of paper well that's not very exciting Isn't it? Oh, I really have that. That. That's more exciting. Although you can't see that very much. Or do you have to work it out? I don't know. I like that. I do like that. That one. Decisions are the worst. So this, this, and, and. Let's put that in this piece. Oh, but then it makes me want to do some hand stitching on there. Well, maybe I'll prepare that to, to receive some hand stitching. going to have some hand stitching I think. Just clip it together. 
I'll put it with the other ones and then I can decide. And I do love this. Maybe I will finish it off tomorrow. Put the mask on. Just seeing what else I've got in my little basket here. Keep holding this, maybe I should use a piece of it. Right. Very bad cutting. Very bad. Well, that's good there. I like that there. So, but do I want a little piece of paper in there as well? Put that piece of paper. just need it a slightly different colour so I'll put a little bit of um, glue on there oh no it's that one And then that will get some stitching. Let me see how I'm going. 28 minutes already. Okay, so I'll put these away. And I'm going to come back and do another bit tomorrow. And I'll stitch those off screen. And then um, show you what I did. And then we'll go on. Or do a bit more. Or show you how I'll use them. Didn't get many done, did I? all there okay so I'll just recap so this this one so these are really cool look at that one yeah this one see and then you can just put them on something and you've got an instant little embellishment there that one yeah, I love that. I need to do more like that. And that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so I'll be. I'm going to join two videos, so I'll be back. Bye.